Hello there. Today we're going to do an install of the new FJ Dynamics Auto Steer System on a John Deere tractor. I welcome you to join us while we do the install. The first step we're going to do is we're going to take off the original steering wheel of the tractor and replace it with our electromagnetic motor and steering wheel that we have from our kit. Now that we have the steering wheel disassembled, we're going to come to our box of accessories and we're going to look for the sleeves with the splines in them and we're going to see if we can find the correct one for this tractor. Once we have our sleeves, we're going to come to the tractor and try to find out which one is the correct one. In this case, I have two sleeves here that are close to what the tractor should be. We're going to try with one and as you can see, it doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that one aside and we're going to try with the second one. And as you can see, this one fits perfectly. The next step we're going to do, once we have found the correct sleeve with the correct splines for this tractor, we're going to assemble it into the steering wheel. We're going to take it and put it right in the middle of the steering wheel. And then we're going to look for a bag that has six bolts in them. And we're going to use those to fasten the sleeve in the motor. Now that the steering wheel is ready for assembly, the next part we're going to look at is going to be the GNSS receptor that's going to go on the roof of the tractor. This base here is the one that comes included with the kit, but in this case, the customer wanted a custom-made base for his receptor, so we made one and this is what's going to be installed on this tractor. The next step we're going to take is we're going to take off the roof of this tractor and we're going to install the base for the receptor and also all the wiring harness that goes from the receptor to the screen that's going to be installed in the tractor. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take out the harness that's included in the kit. The first one we're going to see is going to be the main power harness. This harness at the end, as you can see, has two cables that will be go into the battery. One for negative, one for positive, and on the positive side we can see it has a fuse. Just in case there should be a high voltage, the fuse will blow out and will protect the system. The next part we can see is it has a main switch for on and off. And the last part is going to be it has a plug. This plug will plug into the main harness that will go to all the components on the kit. As we can see here, this one has a number, it's the number four. And the main harness, it has a numbers two. So we look for number four and we assemble it. Once it's assembled, we look at the next part which would be number three. This plug will go to the cable that is connected to the GNSS receiver. That cable, we have it right here. This would be the cable. And it also has a number. As we can see here, it has a number three. And so we look on the main harness that for number three, we plug it in. And it's ready to be routed up in the tractor, to the roof of the tractor, to the GNSS receiver. This is the plug that goes to the receiver with the number eight. And it also has, as you can see, it has a screw, so it will stay fit once you plug it in. The next part, and the last two parts that we can see here, we have two more plugs. The number one will go on the back of the screen. You will find a gray plug on the back of the screen, and that's where this one will be plugged into. And the number five will go on the steering wheel. The last part of the harness that we're going to see is going to be the angle sensor that's going to go either on the right side of the front wheels or on the left side and the harness that will give it power. This angle sensor is an option for tractors that have high horsepower and will be using big implements or for tractors that go high speeds up to above 10 miles per hour. 
What we're going to do is this sensor, as I mentioned, will go either or on the right or on the left side of the front axle. It's going to be put on the wheel and it's going to help the system guide the, the wheels. We're going to look for the gray plug and on our power harness, we're also going to look for the gray plug with the number seven. We're going to plug it in. We're going to route this into the cab to the, all, all the way up to the GPS and on the back of the screen you will find a uh, black plug and that's where this one is going to go plugged into. So for installing this cable, what we're going to do is first we're going to find a way to route our power harness from in the cab all the way to our battery box. If the tractor does not have a hole in the, bottom, in the floor, we're going to have to make one. And on a note, we have to make the hole big enough so that our cables for the power harness can go through it and also the cable for the angle sensor that we just saw. Once we have the hole ready, we're going to introduce the cables. We're going to route them through the cab. We're going to take them up to the battery box. We're going to take the positive and the negative and we're going to put them on the battery. We're going to put them here and we're going to tighten them up. Now that we have put the cables on the battery and we have found the best way to route our cables from in the cab to the outside, what we're going to do is take the main harness and we're going to find the best way to hide it and just take the, the plugs and the cables that are necessary for the main components. In this case, it will be the steering wheel and also the screen. In this tractor, we have already installed the harness. So what we did was the power harness is hidden under the floor mat in the floor and we have plugged in our main harness under there and we only routed the cable that goes to the steering wheel through the dashboard. We have routed it through here and all the way up the steering column comes out and then what we did is just leave enough cable and plug it in here into the motor and one more important step is going to be take the brackets that come in the accessory kit and mount the motor onto the steering column so that when the GPS is active that it doesn't move around. The next step we're going to do is we're going to assemble our screen. As you can see in this tractor we have already mounted the mount for the screen and as you can see the cables have already been routed. In this case what we did is the cables that come from under the floorboard, the floor mats, we have routed them up through this column and they come out the side. We left just enough cable so that we could properly mount the screen and that there would be no access cable hanging there. As you can see, we have two cables here. This is the one that's gonna power and give direction to the steering motor. And it also receives a signal from the GNSS receiver that's on the roof. And last, we have the radio antenna wire that also comes from the roof. This one has to be routed from the roof into the cab. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screen and as we can see here, this gray plug-in goes to the gray receiver. You have to plug it in. Once it clicks, it's ready. And we take our radio antenna wire, we screw it on. And last, we mount the screen to the mount and we should be ready. The last cable we're going to see is going to be the cable that goes from the main harness to the GNSS receiver that's on the roof. In the case of this tractor, this, harness, this cable is plugged into the harness that's under the floor mat and we have routed it all the way up under and behind this plastic all the way up. It goes behind the radio. We have put, uh, drilled a hole in the roof and from there it, it goes all the way to the GNSS receiver. That's the best way we have found for this tractor. It might be different for you, and uh, my recommendation would be find the best route for this cable for your tractor. The last step of the installation is gonna be our GNSS receiver and the radio antenna. As you can see, this GNSS receiver has already been mounted with the mount that I mentioned previously, the custom mount that the client ordered. In the case of our other kits, we have the standard mount, the, which we can put in the center of the tractor, in the front or in the back, but preferably as centered in the tractor as possible. Once that's mounted, we're gonna take our cable that we have routed from inside the tractor all the way through the roof, and it comes out in front of the tractor, and we're gonna plug it into our receiver. As you can see, it has a little pin here for a guide. We're going to insert it and tighten it up. And lastly, if your tractor has a piece of metal on the roof, we can just take our radio antenna 
and put it on since it's magnetic. If you don't have it, we have double-sided 3M tape that you can put on it and stick it to your roof. We have finished installing this kit on the tractor. Should you need any more help installing your kit, you can leave us a message on our social media platforms or leave a message or call us on the number that's gonna appear on the screen. Thank you.